Good morning. Just going for a Saturday morning ride, Saturday day ride. About 335 miles from the north metro of Minneapolis, northwest metro, uh, taking back roads up to Duluth, Lake Superior. And uh, it's a loop route that I've got put together. I've never done this exact route before. I've done segments of it with uh, other day rides I've I've taken. But uh, I've got about 40 miles of this uh, divided two lane uh, to start out. So as I kind of escape the uh, the metro congestion, it's a two lane divided highway, which is nothing to brag about. Not my preference of riding. But after the first 40 miles, it's uh, it's two lane all the way up. I think I said two lane divided highway. It's four lane divided highway, obviously. But after the initial 40 miles of this four lane divided highway, then it's two lane the whole rest of the day. So uh, it'll be a nice ride. Temperature currently is 63 degrees. It's about 9:45 on Saturday morning. All right, let's jump off this slab and get us a two-lane. After a very short delay, just a couple minutes, as a train had to clear the tracks up ahead, we're ready to keep rolling. Uh, I'm just pulling into Hinkley, Minnesota, and uh, continuing my two-lane back up. Oh, let everybody go, folks. Continuing my two-lane back road adventure here. Uh, Hinkley Fire Museum. That's, you know what? I've never uh, stopped there. I need to probably bring the boys there one sometime. Uh, there was a massive wildfire uh, back in the late, uh, gosh, I think it was the late 1800s. Uh, burned thousands of acres. Burned the town down, I believe. Uh, but anyway, that's a museum dedicated to the event. Yeah, the Hinkley Fire. Why not? Let's circle back around. Let's go check out the plaque. The Hinkley Fire, between 3 and 5 o'clock in the afternoon of September 1st, 1894, a raging forest fire driven by strong southwest winds swept over the town of Hinkley, killing 248 residents. Good God! The conflagration burned over 480 square miles in parts of five counties, also consuming the surrounding towns of Brook Park, Mission Creek, Miller, Partridge, and Sandstone. 418 people died. Trains of the St. Paul and Duluth Railroad and the Eastern Minnesota Railroad carried nearly 500 people to safety through the burning countryside. My God, can you imagine? Apocalyptic. More than 1,500 individuals lost their homes and possessions. Fire relief efforts received donations from as far away as London and even Turkey as news of the tragedy spread. Dear Lord. 1894. Shapers. So I knew there was something up here. You know, I've seen references to the Hinkley Fire over the years and knew it was disastrous, but my gosh. Alright, so there you have it, the Hinkley Five. Boy, I learned something. So this is the Kettle River. Just gorgeous 
northern Minnesota river scene. Love this uh, this area. I have I'm uh, on Minnesota 23 still, and uh, I've crossed over and onto the east side of I-35. So I'm heading kind of northeast. This takes me almost, uh, well, practically downtown Duluth. It really does. And it's just a fantastic drive. Spectacular, even more so in the fall. Uh, but here, early spring, you can see uh, trees are beginning to leaf out. And uh, it's just a really, I love this, I love this ride. Um, just really pretty. traffic on this road. It's really nice. I've passed a couple cars, but uh, both oncoming and traffic heading up north, it's just never anybody on this road. It's one of the nice things about it. And then you have these pines and a lot of aspen. and Very pretty. A nice uh, departure from the well, the southern part of the state, which is uh, no longer the, the forests have uh, been cut. Were cut 150 years ago, and it's just all farms, uh, which is pretty it, it, in its own right. Different, different landscape for sure. But I like the north woods. so pretty. The GoPro will flatten this out, but the road dips, it uh, descends, and then there's hills directly in front of me with different shades of green, uh, dark green in the pines, and lighter green in the aspen, and, and then some brown even in uh, what are probably maples that haven't leafed out yet. Very pretty part of the state, that's for sure. Uh-oh, road closed ahead. Love these cobblestone streets here. The streets in Duluth are really in pretty sad shape. They're really bad. But uh, at least these cobblestone stretches that they have, these are original. Um, they're really neat. Pretty cool. There is the lift bridge. There's the grandmom's grandma's ice cream joint. It's okay. This is a railway bridge. There's a a rail up above, a rail line, and then the uh, the vehicle bridge down below. It's neat. Goes over the St. Louis River. A bunch of folks dropping a line in the river today. So I am uh, probably, let's see, not probably, I'm 40 miles south of Duluth on Wisconsin 35, and I take this uh, all the way down to uh, Taylor's Falls. And then at Taylor's Falls, cross the state line back into Minnesota and shoot shoot uh, due west to the house from there. So I got another, let's see, I'm showing 138 miles. So uh, two and a half hours or so. The temperature is uh, fortunately warmed up. Some guys out on a cruise. So 
Hendersonville was 48 on Canal Street in Duluth, and it's uh, warmed up to 61. Found this old abandoned church. Kind of cool. Got it cabled off, can't pull in, but I'm off the road and I figured, you know what, let me go check this out, get a photo. as I cruise through Frederick, Wisconsin, I am going to sign off for this trip. It's been an awesome uh, day, kind of in the home stretch. So I'll call it uh, a wrap for YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it.